If you wish to program an Arduino microcontroller like this one, you need the Arduino IDE, which is an integrated developer environment. And you download this from Arduino website. You can find a link to that from the Skorhoi wiki page. So you just go to uh, skorhoi.com to the wiki, which you see right there. And you can uh, find our Arduino board page from the front page. It's on uh, the, the end of this, the page there. Then you can go to arduino.cc and you can download their um, development environment. So it looks like this. You select your platform. So the Arduino environment is now downloaded and you can reveal it in Finder and then drag it to the Applications tab and then you can start the Arduino. So this is what it looks like when you have started the Arduino IDE and you can quite quickly get started by going to the examples menu and choosing some of these uh, predefined programs and one of them is called Blink. And what Blink will do it's, is it, it will flash an LED on your Arduino board. So it's, it's the most basic test you can actually do to see if you are able to upload something to your board. And this is what we are gonna do uh, now, basically. But before we do that, since we have an Arduino Ethernet, um, we need to, to install a driver that makes it compatible with this particular cable. So it's, uh, we, are, we are not really done that with installing software. The IDE is what you need for both the Ethernet and the Arduino Mega uh, board, which is an, another model. But for this particular one, we need a driver. You can go to the Skorhoi Wiki website again. And when you are on the Arduino boards page, you can go a little down the page and you'll find a link to the FTDI chip driver and you click to go there and on this page you scroll down you find your particular version of operating system in our case Mac OS you download the particular version that you like to have and install it and that's it so now that you have come this far, all you need to do is to connect the FTDI driver or FTDI cable to the Arduino Ethernet. Observe the black wire. There's a little print on the printed circuit board here saying black must be on the top. So make sure you do that. And the other end goes into a USB port on your computer. Okay. And what you'll see instantly you do this is that the board is powered by by uh, current from the computer. So there's a small LED which is now lit. And um, the other LED on this board which you, can, um, which you can make blink is the little one sitting there right next to the Ethernet jack and it's called L9. So it, this will react when you change the digital output number 9. And this is important because the default LED is 13. So we are going to change 13 for 9 and then we are going to go to the tools menu, board and you see all these many different Arduino boards we need to choose the right one called Arduino Ethernet. As soon as you have done that you can press the upload button and you'll see it's compiling and then it's trying to upload, but it needs you to tell it which port to use. And here we have a problem because we don't see the USB port, which we have just installed. After installing the FTDI driver, you probably may need to reboot your system completely or log out, restart the application. Try something if it doesn't work for you, but basically what you need is to go select the board type you then need to, of course, load the example sketch, so that's the blink sketch. And we set the LED to 9, press the upload button, 
and you can see down here it's compiling, then it's trying to upload, and this is where we now have the opportunity of selecting USB serial. And it, it's gonna look like this on a Mac more or less. You press OK, and then notice what happens down here. It's uploading the sketch. Done uploading. And if we're looking at the board right now, you can see the small LED L9 right here is in fact blinking. So this indicates that we successfully loaded software onto the Arduino Ethernet board. That's just one thing that I personally prefer to, um, to see when I'm using the Arduino IDE. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, settings and that is that you would like to see compilation and upload information. And maybe this is just a personal preference, but it's all about what is happening in, uh, in this part of the window down here when I press the, uh, the upload button. So let's try to do it again. I press this one, you'll see first it's, it says compiling and it shows some output and then it says updating. So I'm going to do it now. Compiles, it uploads and the upload is in orange and this gives me you know, a feeling of something going on and I can easily spot if something is not going on as it should. So I, I suggest that you, you do that too. If you own one of our products and you need to know how to program an Arduino Ethernet, it probably doesn't come in this form to you. It's, uh, it's more likely that you have um, an enclosure like this and of course where do you then put the cable? The cable which normally goes into the end of the Arduino Ethernet will go into this little slot between the uh, Ethernet jack and the power jack. And here again you need to observe uh, what is black. You can see uh, it says black just close to the Ethernet connector. So black on the cable needs to go to that side. You then slide the cable in until it sort of uh, clicks into place or it's, it's at least uh, you feel tactile feedback from, from uh, inside that it's now fixed. And uh, this is how you need to access programming of the Arduino Ethernet inside one of the Scorehoy products. Mm -hmm.